Hey, what's up? It's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. If you watch any of my videos, you know I've got this hobby of thinking I'm going to turn into another uh, rock star. So I'm working on my guitar here today. This is actually one of my got at a yard sale. And it had a couple of problems. The fingerboard was actually separating from the neck. And so basically what I did was I separated a little bit, stuck some Elmer's in there, clamped it up good. And uh, this, this is actually a court. So this is a court guitar and it, actually this fingerboard somehow or another got offset on this. And so I had to actually sand this down. Because it, it almost seems like the fingerboard shrunk in. So I had to sand that down clamp it and then on the tuning pegs there are they are frozen and you can see that this has got rust in it um, and so that's that's rusty and, and if I knock on this I can almost hear that truss rod in there vibrating it's probably loose and these screws you can see they got rusted in Basically, what I had to do on these couple of these screws is I had to take a hacksaw, and you can see where I nicked it right here. I had to take a hacksaw and cut a groove in it so I could use a flathead screwdriver. And you can see these these are not very deep, but they were kind of like rusted in there. And uh, actually, these broke off. So these two here broke off. This one I was able to get out, but I had to saw it and make a flathead screw out of it so I can pull it out. And then these these tuning pegs they were all stiff. This one's cracked. I can probably super glue that back together once I get these gears all loose up and everything. But what it and I went to the guitar store because I'm kind of new at working on guitars. I went to the guitar store and he goes, oh those things don't if they've got a gear on them, um, they push out through the back and I'm like, well what holds the string on? You know and I'm like there's a thing in there, blah, blah, blah. So uh, I tried to pound it out from the front, and it wouldn't come out through the front. And so I pounded it out through the back, and you can see that thing is basically rusted on that, that whatever the shaft is rusted on the sleeve, and it's not coming out too easily. So I had to take and de-rust all these and uh, make them work. And hopefully, now this cork has got a one-piece end piece on it couldn't find on the internet. The guy at the guitar store said he's going to try and order one, see if he can get one. It's just a one piece. It's similar to a Gibson uh, end piece, but it's just a one piece. And so I'm going to try and get that. Hopefully the action is not too bad on this. But uh, yeah, so I'll be uh, rebuilding these. I could probably just as easily buy some new ones, but my thing is all about recycling, as you can tell by my channel title. And so I'll be recycling on. So this one I had to heat up. Take the torch, heat up the sleeve, and it came off. It was, pre it was pretty rusted. I took a little 220 grit sandpaper on that. And I'm gonna leave it up with this. Okay, I got them on there, all back on there. Actually, did a little custom sanding, and I got that piece there. It screws. It needs new screws. I think one of the screws may have busted off inside. All these, these two here, the screws actually busted off inside the wood when I was trying to take it off. So I epoxied them. And you can see this one here, it was stripped, so I um, put some epoxy on that. Hopefully that'll work. At least they're, they're moving freely at this point, so that's good. And then also, I wanted to give you a tip about strings. This is, these are the strings I use. And basically they're coated so that the metal doesn't tend to rub off on your fingers. So yeah. And that's your tip for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.